The Digital Library is a collection of ebooks that you can use just like print books. Ebooks are a cost effective means to complete the foundational reading and research necessary as you develop your expertise. The ability to personalize and customize your ebook resources will not only serve you as an introduction to a practice area, but also serve as an ongoing resource to which you can refer over time. The personal workspace on the digital library provides the means to efficiently access the ebooks and customize and share the expertise you gain. This exercise will introduce you to the features of the digital library that will serve you in your legal career to develop greater knowledge using these resources. Go to the URL for your firm's digital library and access using your firm's authentication method. As a first time user, your personal workspace will be empty. After you access the digital library, click on Browse Library in the left navigation panel. As a general rule, clicking the word Read opens the ebook. The Read link to open the ebook presents with a variety of icons. From this page, click the Read link below the cover image of any ebook. The ebook opens in your browser and a persistent navigation bar is at the top of the page with the e-reader functionality. Click on the right-hand margin to page forward, the left-hand margin to page back. Click the table of contents in the navigation bar to open the scrollable table of contents in the right navigation panel. Use the slider bar to scroll through the table of contents and then click on any section. The e-reader displays that location in the text. Click the highlighter icon in the navigation bar to change your cursor to a highlighter. Click and drag the mouse to select text and highlight it. Release the mouse. Notice that the text is highlighted and in the window that appears, you can add a note. Click Done in the lower right corner of the annotation window, and the e-reader displays your text highlighted and a sticky note icon. Click Annotations in the navigation bar and see that the note is recorded in the e-reader for your later reference. On the navigation bar, the far left close icon will close the ebook and displays your personal workspace. Having returned to your personal workspace, click Home on the left navigation panel to return to your main page. Note that the recently read panel is now populated with the ebook that you used. Click My Annotations in the left navigation panel. If you had indeed made an annotation, it appears in this section of your personal workspace. Clicking the One Annotation link under the ebook's cover image displays your annotations. The Citation column information also serves as a direct link back to the annotation in the ebook. Hover over the underscored citation text to see how this is a link or click the link if you wish to try it out. Click Browse Library in the left navigation panel to view the collection of your firm's ebooks. The ebooks are displayed with the cover images. Clicking the cover image will take you to the book detail page for that individual ebook. Try this out with any of the ebooks. On the book detail page, notice the large red button with the word read. This opens the ebook in the e-reader. The right half of the page has a series of drop-down menus. 
These menus may vary based on whether the ebook is a single volume or part of a multiple volume set. However, three important and persistent drop down menus that appear on each page are Table of Contents, Description, and Subjects. The Description drop down provides general information about the ebook. The Subjects drop-down displays the classifications that the publisher has applied to the ebook. For example, an ebook on civil discovery would display the classification of litigation in the Subjects drop-down. There will be more about this later when we go through the firm's collection. Try the Table of Contents drop-down by clicking the arrow on the right-hand side. The table of contents for the individual ebook is loaded and you can expand or collapse it to scan the information. Each entry in the table of contents is a link directly to that part of the ebook. Try a link if you like and then close the ebook. You are returned to the book detail page. Closing the table of contents drop down, scroll down the page and look on the left side below the Read button. You will see the option to Copy Title Link, which provides a direct link back to this book detail page. Beneath Copy Title Link is where you can create your own personal collection. My Tags provides the ability to tag an ebook and create quick reference collections. Click the Add New Tag button and a pop-up to create a new tag appears. Note that you can add multiple tags to one ebook. Click the pop-up and enter a tag name in the window. Try this by using Demo as the tag name. Click the Home button on the left navigation panel to see that your workspace is now personalized with the information in the My Tags section. This information is also on the My Tags section of the left navigation panel. Click My Tags on the left navigation panel and the list of tags is displayed. Tags are clickable and will display the cover image of the ebooks with the tag. Click Demo to display what you just tagged. On the right side of the page, there is an Edit button. Click the Edit button on the right side of the screen and you can rename or delete the My Tag collection. Click My Books in the left navigation panel. This section displays the historical record of every ebook that you've read. You don't necessarily need to remember every ebook you've used because this section will keep that record for you. The Browse Library section in the left navigation panel provides you access to a browsable presentation of the ebooks in your firm's collection. Click Browse Library and then use the slider bar on the right side of the page to scroll down. If your library has compiled any special collections of ebooks, they are presented on this page. Scrolling to the bottom of the page displays a listing of the subjects applied to the ebooks in your firm collection. A subset of the subjects are displayed. Clicking the red See All button on the right side of the page will display all the subjects. Scroll through the subjects and click on one, for example, litigation, to display the ebooks within that classification. This page is like the page displayed after you search the collection using the collection search feature. The collection search feature is located at the top center of the page. Collection Search is in the text box with a magnifying glass and text, Find a Book by Title, Author, Practice, Area, etc. 
click into the text box and type a key term from the title or author name. Then click the red search button. This searches the collection and retrieves ebooks in the firm collection. Beneath the filters on the left side, toggle the result from all titles to sets. This shows the multiple volume sets that meet your collection search criteria. Clicking the cover image will take you to the set page. Like the book detail page, the set page has information for the multiple volume set. The table of contents dropdown includes links for each volume in the set. The individual volumes in the title are displayed at the bottom of the set page. Click the cover of any individual volume to open the book detail page for that volume. The set page and book detail pages for multiple volume titles also include the search the set feature. This feature is located beneath the menus and will search across all the volumes in a set for a phrase or a keyword. This has been a very quick hands-on exercise for you. If you would like a more personalized review of the digital library, please contact your LexisNexis digital media consultant and arrange for a brief one-on-one -on -one review. Thank you for your attention to this video and here's to success in your use of the Lexus ebooks and your digital library.